for all of our visitors and those appearing before the commission join us. Uh, and I'll ask at this time, Sheriff Wilson, if you would please sort of read our disclaimer into the minutes. All, co all post commissioners have previously agreed to excuse themselves from any vote that would constitute a conflict of interest. The most obvious of these would be or uh, would include issues that involve our own departments or someone we know personally. Because we have already agreed to this, it should be noted that on routine matters, it may be assumed non-verbally that these commissioners have abstained from that vote. In bigger, more controversial issues that may have a more overt conflict of interest or may have the appearance of impropriety applicable, commissioners will still verbally abstain from the vote. Chair, thank you very much. Uh, before we begin with our agenda, I would like to welcome our newest member, Senator Mike Bell. Uh, Senator, welcome. Uh, we're delighted to have you as a member of the Commission. Look forward to serving with you and uh, welcome you to this body. Thank you, sir. Uh, this afternoon, uh, appearing before the Commission, Bruce Edward Elliott. Mr. Elliott is a candidate for sheriff in Franklin County. He requested to appear before the Commission to seek a waiver if possible for the requirement of the three years of full-time law enforcement. During the final review of his file, it was discovered that Mr. Elliott was three months short. His name had been filed as meeting the requirements as set forth in 8-8-102. Notification was made to the Election Commission that an error had occurred, and commissioners do have copies. Uh, Mr. Elliott, are you present? They don't, they don't have copies. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, so you do not have information with regard to this request. Uh, Mr. Elliott, welcome and good afternoon, sir. Thank you very much. I appreciate you, ladies and gentlemen, for you taking the time to have you be in the schedule of the hearing. Uh, my name is Bruce Elliott. I'm 52 years of age. I reside in Winchester, Tennessee, which is the county seat of Franklin County. I have 16 years of law enforcement uh, altogether. Uh, most of that being with the Franklin County Sheriff's Department. I feel numerous positions. Uh, about the only one I haven't had is the sheriff itself and the secretary. Uh, three years of military, early on when I was a young man uh, with the United States Army. I've had numerous uh, classes and, and received instruction and even became an instructor myself in, in various subjects. Uh, the issue today that, that I want to speak to you about, as it's been noted, is the three months that I, that I have evidently been out of law enforcement. When I left the Sheriff's Department in, uh, on September the 1st, 2006, uh, I think this law was was made with the intent to ensure that only qualified individuals would be allowed to, to seek the office of sheriff, and I feel like I meet that criteria. Uh, I basically dedicated most of my adult life to, to, to trying to enforce the law. I believe I'm a qualified candidate. Uh, as you mentioned, I'd already been through and started to campaign somewhat, not a lot, but I started to campaign some. And then last week I was informed that uh, I better hold up on that because uh, they had really looked at my paperwork again or however that's transpired and, and uh, that I would probably uh, not be able to run. So uh, I requested a hearing and, and, and thank goodness that we're here today to, to decide. Uh, I've done everything that has been required of me to, to qualify and, and I don't know what else that I could possibly do. The, the three months seems to, to be a stickler right now and uh, I just feel like it's kind of unfair but you know sometimes the law is not fair we have to we have to go along with what what the law says and I understand that. I am asking that maybe you give me some, some special consideration due to the fact that that I had been approved, maybe, and, and, and it was taken back. Uh, I go back to my parents and, 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 and the things that they instilled in me, and, and they always told me to be fair and just. They taught me to never lie. And they always taught me to be for the law and never against it. And I tried my best to uphold this standard as much as I can. And I would just ask that you consider what I've asked you today and 
and uh, I'll abide by your decision. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Elliott. We appreciate that very much. Uh, members of the commission have questions for Mr. Elliott. So, so Mr. Elliott, you you uh, left the sheriff's department in, in 2006. Yes. Sir. And before that, at the time that you left, had you been continuously with the sheriff's department for those 16 years? Since 97. I had, a, I had a break in service with them, uh, uh, but 97, I had been with them since 97 the second time. Okay. And, and then at the time before 97 that you were also with the, the Yes, sir. I went to work the first time as a young officer in, uh, I believe, it was 1984. And then I left in about, I think it was 1988. But you're three months short of your three years of law enforcement? That's what I was informed of, ma'am. You, you, you left the position of deputy sheriff due to the election last time, correct me, as, as a result of the election, yes, the new yes, sheriff yes, came yes, in and terminated yes, the sheriff's and then... That's, that's why I had to leave. Yes. That's why I left that day, of September 1st, 2006, 2006. That puts them at basically that, that time frame short of uh, going back to 10 years. Okay, couldn't use that. If you had four months or three months work during that time, have you done any employment during that time? Any law enforcement? So I just work in the private sector. Um, I'm currently employed with Nissan North America right now. I'm very sympathetic with your position, but I know the Sheriff's Association have worked very hard in getting this standard bill passed, and I know this was going to come up at some point, whether it was one day, one hour, or whatever, but it's very clear, and there's no room for, there's no wiggle room in this particular law. If you have not met the criteria for three years, you're not eligible. And I'm sorry to tell you that. And, uh, you know, that's one of those things that might come back to bite, my, bite me one day. Well, there's but, no waiver. Yeah. But yeah. There's, there's, only, there's only thing he has experienced as a state or federal law enforcement officer during that time. But there's not. I think. Well, there's, no, there's no, there's no, anything, in, there's no mechanism for a waiver there, is there? Yeah. We were faced with one like this last month, I believe, and he was like three months short, too. Yeah. Right. Law does not allow us to give a waiver. So this isn't just a rule, this is a statute. It's a state law. We can't it's vary from it. Statute. I'm not a proponent of the law myself, but it's the law. Yeah. And that's that's what we have to go by. Would you, would I, we can't change the law, I don't think. Have we got a, can we have access to a copy of 88102? Yes, we'll give it to you. I may have it in front of me. Basically, there's a criteria that the post commission is responsible for certifying call, uh, candidates for the Office of Sheriff. There's basically 10 or 11 uh, qualifications, being a citizen of the United States, being above 25, uh, having a high school diploma or equivalent educational experience, not being guilty of uh, guilty to uh, certain misdemeanor, domestic violence, or any other felony, uh, fingerprint submitted, uh, a resident of the county, uh, a qualified voter of the county, and a resident of the county for one year. Um, also, not to be discharged from the, from the military for dishonorable bad conduct. Uh, they passed a mental, uh, passed a mental evaluation, uh, and then also the three, three years of post certification. The last ten. That's, that's, that's the general one here. Three years of post certification. That's, that's three the issues. Years of, three years. Three years of long, full time long experience as a post commission certified law enforcement okay. officer in the previous years. years. Actual employment. For the record, I, I like that. As we the three last ten. Yeah. 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 Mr. Chairman, I like that. You said that you left the department. What year was it again? 2006, September the first. The last time. And so you you said you left basically because of an election. I guess you were back. I guess the other candidate. Right. Okay. So so you in Franklin County, I don't have civil service or anything like that. Well, they do, but uh, at that point, I uh, I just felt like it. You know, it's no, I'm not one to want to stay around where I'm not wanted. Right. And they made that very clear, so I resigned. I did. Did you make any attempt to go to work with any of the local other agencies there locally? Well, I did, sir. And for whatever reason, I don't, I don't know the reason, but it, it, it never got anywhere. Uh, any other questions uh, from the commission for Mr. Elliott? And if not, uh, I think we would entertain a motion if someone... To deny based on statute, um, Tennessee Code Annotated 8802. Say it again, I'm sorry. I make a motion to deny based on statute of Tennessee Code Annotated 88102. I'll second. There is a motion and a second. Are there further questions or discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. Uh, aye. Any opposed? The motion carries. Mr. Elliott, uh, uh, 
thank you for your years of service to law enforcement in the state of Tennessee, and we regret regret uh, that the law is what it is, but that's uh, that's our job to carry that out as well. Best luck to you, sir. Right, thank you for your time. Yes, sir. The next item uh, this afternoon is John Paul Blevins. Mr. Blevins is a candidate for sheriff in Sullivan County. He requested to appear for the commission to seek a waiver. He was a certified officer until 12-15-87, and in 1990 he was employed by the Tennessee Public Service Commission as a motor carrier enforcement officer until 1992. He's been a reserve officer since 1995 and has completed the annual in-service and firearms training. Post does not have copies of that paperwork. He's requesting a waiver so that he will meet the requirements as set forth in 8.8.102. And I believe you do have some information with regard to Mr. Blevins. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Welcome. We're glad to have you here. Thank you for having me down here. Uh, based on the last hearing, I don't stand a chance. Sure. I've held up my hand up for this state for a dollar a year for 18 years. I've got a four-year degree in criminal justice. I've got 33 hours toward a master's degree. My chief deputy should be running for sheriff. He just lives in the wrong county. This is a bad law lobbied for by the Sheriff's Association to keep the insiders in and the outsiders out. And I'd like that on the record. I work for the Tennessee Public Service Commission and all the folks my age and older know exactly what I'm talking about. And I'm probably about 20% of the reason that agency no longer exists. And I'm proud I took a stand then, and I'm proud I've taken a stand right now. I'll entertain any questions. Questions for Mr. Blavin? You are a reserve officer, did I understand that right? Yes, sir. For 18 years. I do. We do. In Washington County, we have all the reserve, all the in-service of full time to do. I've got my qualification papers here. We have to annually qualify. We get the sexual abuse classes. We get the child abuse classes, the sexual harassment classes from the earlier things we talked about today. We get all that. It's not, just not turned into post like it is for the full-time officer. So if I understand correctly, Mr. Blevins, you would not meet the three years of full-time law enforcement post-certified uh, service as required by the statute, oh, sir. And that statute was passed, what, 2012? Uh, Can anybody tell me when that was passed? I believe it was passed. It's been revised since, but uh, there's 2012, there's 2006, 2012, and 2013. There's been a sheriff's election in this state since 2012. Well, we've got this law over the past. Well, regardless when it was passed, it's still the law, sir. I understand that. Have you ever been post certified? Yes, sir. The, when, when were you post certified? Oh, sir, I went to Donaldson right down here in 1987 for Washington County Sheriff's Office. Worked for them two years. Got out, went to work for Tennessee Public Service Commission two years. Got on at FedEx about two years after I started FedEx, 95, 96. Washington County started a reserve program, and I'm reserve number one, and I'm proud of it. But this law, lobby for by the Sheriff's Association is telling me and my chief deputy that I'm not ready because he was no I'm not qualified to for sheriff. Sure. And these Tennessee, we've had some real doozy sheriffs in the last couple of years. And that's all I'll say about that. I don't, I don't think we want to argue with we, we, Some of us kind of understand what you know, but still the law. It's still the law. law. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll make motion to decline. Motion to decline and a second. Are there further questions or discussion? If not, all in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Mr. Blevins, thanks for your service. Best of luck to you, sir. Thank Appreciate you, you coming down.